There are tools and techniques that you can use to elevate your baseline level of dopamine for long periods of time. The simplest one for which there are excellent data, and here I'm referring to data published in the European Journal of Physiology, I'll provide a link to this, is that exposure of your body up to the neck to cold water, and it doesn't have to be super cold, by the way, to cold water has been shown to increase baseline levels of dopamine and the other so-called catecholamines, which include norepinephrine and epinephrine. But for sake of today's discussion, dopamine in particular for not just one, but at least two and probably as long as four or five hours. There have been some additional scientific studies after the paper I just mentioned, and it's really remarkable. You can accomplish this a number of different ways. You could get into a cold shower in the morning, and I do recommend doing this in the morning. And in that case, it's okay to get the water on your head. Um, in fact, I recommend it. Uh, you could get into an ice bath. You could get into a cold plunge. In these circumstances, I'm not suggesting this for sake of increasing metabolism or fat loss. You know, the whole discussion around uh, deliberate cold and metabolism and fat loss has become a little bit controversial. So we won't go there now, mostly because we're focused on the clear ability of deliberate cold exposure to increase dopamine for long periods of time, aka your dopamine baseline. The ways to do this vary depending on the temperature. So for instance, there are data pointing to the fact that if you want to get a long lasting increase in your baseline dopamine, you could take a very cold shower or cold plunge or ice bath for a very brief period of time, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, maybe three minutes, but probably 30 seconds to two minutes. 